And in this video, I'm going to have a go at a mint infusion, which is pretty handy because I have some right outside the back door. So, without any further ado, let's go and have a look, shall we? And if we just step outside, here we are. Right, just behind my uh, tomato plant here is the first pot of mint. Looks pretty healthy to me and could do the haircut. Here's my lemon verbena, which I'm sure I'll be infusing in another video at some point. And here's my second pot of mint. I've had a look at this and I'm not sure whether this is peppermint or spearmint. If there's any um, experts out there that can identify this immediately, then let me know. Um, I've got a feeling it's peppermint because it's not particularly furry. But anyway, I mean, it's definitely mint of some kind, which is good enough for me. So first job, let's start harvesting some of this. Well, this isn't going to take long at all, is it? So I've got my clean pair of scissors and I'm snipping off 25 to 30 of these new shoots that are around four to five inches long. And so here I use one of my two litre infusing jars and I make up one litre of a 40% ABV neutral spirit. That's nice and easy. Next thing to do is to chuck the mint in. I could have put it in as is. I could have chopped it all up with a knife. Uh, but I just decided to bruise it by crushing it in my hand quickly. And I have no idea how much to use, so I'm going to bung it all in, which I know is definitely going to be far too much. But I like my flavours, so let's see how it goes. Next thing to go in is the sugar there, and that's 150 grams. Uh, so the next process is the usual seal it up and leave it to infuse for a few days to really bring out these flavours and also dissolve the sugar. So here we are. I did leave this for about five days infusing in the end. And my word, that's a fucking mess in there, I'm sure. But anyway, we'll do the usual process of filtering it all off and bottling it up. And then we shall give it a taste test. And so here we are at the end of the video. And as per usual, I have my final product, the Mint Infusion. And here it is. Not the nicest looking of beasts, is it? And, um... Hmm. Oh, it smells, um... Uh... Yeah, it smells bloody minty. That's what it smells like. Here we go. Under the taste test, though. Cheers. Huh. Jesus. Mother father. That is bloody minty. I'll give you that much. I do like extremely strong tasting stuff, which is why when I go to the supermarket, if I see something with a just a hint of flavours, then I know it's going to be as weak as piss. So I slightly overcooked the quantity I used in this, but to be fair, this is still drinkable. It is literally like chucking a whole tube of spearmint toothpaste in your mouth. Well, an entire tube of spearmint toothpaste in your mouth, hey? Well, let's put that one to the test, shall we? Um, but at least you're going to have fresh breath. Hmm. So everyone's a winner with this one. I have tried to dial down also the uh, amount of sugar that I use in my infusions. And um, we all know how bad sugar is. And we have so much of it in our diet. Um, 
even if we don't know we're consuming sugar in products it's always there or it seems to be anyway so that one um, could also be reduced on the sugar as well hmm but would it taste as nice I don't know so there's a, another one for the future efforts a second batch um, and I might do it slightly differently but it's definitely drinkable well it is for me anyway Cool. <laughs> so there we go thanks for watching and until next time make sure you keep on shining Dear.